I know double big's gone well, but does it give you something dynamic? Well, or you might not have a choice. Or... You might not have a choice because it feels like it feels like either Robert or Horford aren't going to be able to give you, you know, thirty plus or every game type performances. I mean, not to change the subject subject, but Rob left the concerned is, these two weren't concerned about like, Rob tonight. Yeah, I'm at the point where I'm just I I don't know if the word is concerned or just like kind of exasperated yeah exasperated is part of the word i'm just kind of like <laughs> to the next level <laughs> another game another no, that's you know, where i am soreness like here yeah. we go and like it just feels like this is just gonna be the story and you talk about you know from on one aspect obviously it doesn't help the celtics but if you're talking about from an asset point of view i mean what team's gonna be interested in a guy that just has constant knee pain or constant banged up for this banged up for that and you can't rely you can't rely on his availability factor is just not there right now. I'm with right, you, Jimmy. I'm so depressed. You okay? Yeah, I'm all robbed out. Uh, I, I I can't do it. I can't do the Rob thing. I'm just. Did he say first half, about He was. He felt a little soreness and he checked out. That's all we got. Usual cryptic injury news from this team. Like, is he gonna be out three on, weeks dog. now? <clears throat> he's maybe, not used to maybe you know what? This many, maybe this many they're minutes, just man. as befuddled as we are. You know? Lower body. Well, remember the. Checked out of the game. I forget which one it was, and went to the locker room, and he just they sent him right back right out back. there. Was, yeah, I think yeah. his body's just responding to this newfound what twenty five plus minutes a night, like just not what he's accustomed to. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that that was a he's case. He's a professional of, athlete, guys. I think he can handle mid twenty minutes. He can't handle night. it, but it's just as the you know the period where his body has. He to He could ha- he could handle signing that contract extension for all that money. He should be able to handle twenty five minutes not, a game. I'm not going to do that to him, Jimmy, just because the turf toe stuff he did in the playoffs was really impressive just in terms of pain tolerance and the games he had through them. I think if you erase that off his record, it'd be like, all right, is, is this guy going to check out after every little, like, you know, uh, yeah. pop? And I'm not going to say he's feels. not hurt. I have no idea. I'm not going to say he's But the, the turf toe thing that he did, he gets a lot of credit for in my book. It's tough because – Look at what he was doing the last four or five games and really just right. to start the season in terms of sustainable action, 30 minutes, not missing any games and able to bounce back from that moment that we saw. It was really piling up to be a career season for him at this point. And, you know, you could keep it going here. Who knows what's going to happen? But the 30 minutes, mm-hmm. the production that we're seeing and just his overall impact, I thought was so impressive to set this year. John didn't like the lack of burst, but there was a sustainability to it that I really loved. And, you know, coming in this game, last four or five games, 14 points a game, 12 rebounds a game, two blocks, 75% from the field, you know, increasing his efficiency on what we've already seen. Uh, you know, this is this has just been an awesome start from Rob, and hopefully this isn't a bump in the road of that uh, momentum. It's just sad, man. It's just like he was swallowing yeah. up rebounds in that first half too. It was like one, two, three, four, and then he was gone. I think it was like five and something like that. I didn't yeah. see anything out there that. <clears throat> I mean, I maybe I missed it, but I didn't see a specific play that he banged knees or. I don't know. Fell weird. I mean, it's the knee. I could. I mean, half the time, half these knee injuries are non-contact anyway, so I guess you wouldn't even know. No, just but. soreness. It's just wear and tear. It's just friggin' he just can't hold Soreness after you. one half, after one half of basketball, after you had yesterday, it wasn't like a back-to-back, you know? It's like... But, they John, have, they he played three, through turf. They have, four, they have four games this week, including tonight. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. But, John, yeah, I, 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 I get... He's devastated right now. John, I get the desire to I say that. I just got that. nothing left. I, get, I, get, I, I don't know where to go with it. You had all your hopes and wishes, and, and Rob, I, I hear you, man. Yeah. And then John, I get- also, like I said, I thought he looked like I thought he looked like trash during the preseason and early in the year. And again, I don't believe um, I don't believe physically he's the same freakish athlete we saw last year. But he started doing all of those other things, you know, that he does in games: active hands, keeping balls alive, great on the offensive board. The numbers yeah. with him on the floor, particularly offensively, have been great. He's As there. Uh, he's their net rating leader. Yeah, the net rating is off the charts. The double big lineup defensively has been outstanding. So he's impacting the game in all those Rob ways. Even though I still don't think he's been all the way back. And then just like, and again, we are we are exactly where we said we'd be with this team, which is it's Tatum and Brown and Rob needed to make a leap to be that third legit 
guy yep. who makes you better out there. And he was starting to get there. And just we just can't take one step forward, one step back, you know, with this over and over again. This team's too thin, does not have enough impact players to be able to hang in there. You see what happens when one guy goes out. The bench is so ugly right now. It's just you, as soon as you start to need I mean, Aaron Neesmith started the freaking second half, guys. You know, like, and he didn't, he didn't puke all over himself, but it's like, you're, you're surviving these minutes, you know, with these guys. It, and this is what happened last game. They survived that grisly, you know, Pritchard, Neesmith, Romeo, uh, Grant, Parker lineup in the first quarter and then they went to it in the third and the whole friggin' thing unraveled like you're surviving bench minutes you cannot lose impact players